Hi, my name is Grant Atkins from Alinea in Chicago, and we're at the Tasting Table Test Kitchen. I mean, right off the top of my head, I'm gonna go kosher salt, MSG, and black pepper. Like, right, right straight away. Because you can't make anything taste good without salt. MSG, which people are gonna hate me for, but in fact, you don't even want to get into a conversation about umami with me. And then freshly ground black pepper. You're hitting ranges with those three items. When you think about it, if you were to put that on a bar graph, they land in very different spots, which allows you to season the food completely and intently. Sugar doesn't even fall in that category. If you gave me those three items, I can make anything taste good, even dessert. So just lick your finger and put it in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Tastes like salt. Yes. One dimensional, right? So try this pile of, of MSG. What's the, di what's the difference? Many dimensions, a lot of flavor. But not salty. No. Savory, but not salty. So try this, try this MSG mixed with salt and a little bit of black pepper. Yeah, you do. That's why I carry Perfect. it with me. I personally love salt. When I'm in the restaurant, I will salt to the point where I feel the guests will be comfortable with it. Even though I might want more, I, I will just go, okay, there's the line. Like, no more. And we don't use that much MSG at all. Rare that we use it. I personally use it more at home. To me, it's a creamy vanilla aspect that bridges salinity and pepper somehow in a really good way. And when you think about it, that's why it works in a lot of Chinese food. It kind of links it all together and weaves it in to one unified taste. 